So yeah, this is The Wind in the Willows, an interactive adventure based on Kenneth Graham's best-selling book featuring images, footage, and voices from the feature film. Yeah, um, there were... I, I was saying earlier that there were a lot of iterations of The Wind in the Willows. Um, yeah, I remember a stop-motion animated series from the 80s that had, like, David Jason and Sir... Um, oh, shit, I've forgotten his name. I was just talking about him before. But, um, What's that? Yeah, this that? one's interesting. Go it's away. apparently, um, yeah, had like Rick Mail, Michael Gambon, anyway, Michael uh, Palin, and properly. someone else. But yeah, um, so we're controlling this little dragonfly. We've got to ring the bell for Badger. No, I'm not coming out. We'll have to do better than that. Oh, okay. Give that Such another ring. Assistance. Well, if they ring again, I might come out. All right, give them one more. Who is it this time? Disturbing people from their winter sleep. Speak up. Oh, this was clever as well. I, yeah, out of all the other, I, I found all these different oh, iterations of Wind and Willis, except for this one. Today. They You'll did like a, a maybe it was the Rankin Bass one. I didn't check the Rankin Bass one. Play, and you can hear the story of Toad's downfall. But your greatest challenge will be to save Toad Hall before those dratted weasels ruin it entirely. Oh, okay. There's one of them. The scoundrels. Ooh, look at that creepy little fellow. for it. He's had a good look at you. Yeah, okay. What do you, what do you mean? Oh, we're into it. Okay. But yeah, now this was a... Uh... <laughs> Similar to Beatrix Potter, this was, I, I think the, the Kenneth Graham guy was sort of alive at roughly the same time. But yeah, it was basically four guys, um, Badger, Make Mole, Rat, and Toad. Hero. And Seems everyone basically are, tried to get um, Toad to stay in line. Type he in liked, name, you know, motor cars and having fun a little bit letters. too much. When you leave, your car will know where you're up to. So next time, just click on your car and continue your adventure. Hey, cool. All right, so we'll pick the next blue one. Hong Kong. We are sandals. Oh, we can't put in... To have the most nah, fun, we're just sandals. We need to meet Ratty, Moly, and Toad, and to play all their games. Only then can you join in with helping to drive the weasels out of Toad Hall. Oh, oh, the dragonfly wants to show you how to get around. Oh, he does. Mind you, him go. if you already know what to do, just click on the blue flowers. Okay, um... The dragonfly's gone into the bottom right-hand corner and brought out a signpost. Click on it and find our friends and see how close you are to Toad Hall. Remember, to get the signpost, just go right into the corner. Yeah, fair enough. Now he's found a tree in the top right-hand corner. If you're finding your adventure too tough, <laughs> or not tough enough, click on the tree to change it. Mm -hmm. Yes? Look at that. <laughs> this is Badger. By going into the bottom left-hand corner, the dragonflies found me. If you ever need some help, then come and find me here. I'll always be on hand to offer advice. Well, that's very nice of you, Badger. <laughs> oh, look. The dragonfly has found a picture frame in the top left corner. If you click on it, you'll go to the gallery at Toad Hall, where you'll find Toad, the boastful creature. He's got lots of paintings in his gallery. Each one tells of a river. Yeah, I'm trying to work out if this is actually Michael Gambon's voice. That's Portly, the baby otter. He'll lead you Can't to a really place tell. where you can find all the games you've enjoyed playing. If you ever want to leave the Wind in the Willows, just click on the weasel, off you go. What can I hear flapping about? Oh, it's the carrier pigeon. Yeah, because uh, no, I know he passed bird. away recently, him, Michael Gambon, like able to print out something last year or the year the before. Willows. I liked him. I actually got back into it recently. Um, Prime Video had the um, uh, Jim Henson story called The Storyteller, like a little show that was like the first series was John Hurt and like a Muppet dog 
telling like old fables and stuff and the second series was Michael Gambon doing like um, Greek myths okay. uh, dear little moly <laughs> he'd simply love to explore the riverbank with you oh what a day you'll have okay so we can hang out with Mole ah uh, typical there's Ratty drifting along in his boat dreaming of faraway lands and mystical adventures okay can Spent we just lively. Okay, that's definitely Michael Palin. Um, doesn't look like we can go to Toad oh, Hall, though. There's Toad. What a nincompoop. A good sort, but he does get into all sorts of trouble. Well, apparently Toad was voiced by Rick Mail for this iteration, so I think we'll, we'll go around. We'll start, we'll start with Mole. Oh, my dear little Moly. Nothing like a picnic and a ramble in the countryside with a magic looking glass. Oh, but bother. Those annoying butterflies are spoiling an outing by stealing the food. It's the, up to you. And butterflies your really into mince pies? Okay. Butterflies oh, wow. <laughs> they're they're the devouring them. Click okay. on the butterflies to shoot them away. Yeah, piss off you. Get out of here. Stop eating all the pies. No. Got all the pies. Oh, that, that pigeon wants some too. Fuck off, pigeon. Get out of here, you. Um, so what are we meant to be doing here? We picked up whatever that is. <laughs> You'll wriggle with curiosity every time you come here. Have a look around and enjoy the wonders of nature. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's certainly what we've been moment. doing for this stream. Find me and I'll explain how the magic looking glass works. Okay. But we can just get up to... What are the, I, I forgot what the pigeon indicated. Do we get to do anything else? Oh, this is the magic looking glass. Okay. Oh, okay. We can actually find a little... Have you ever considered uh, that's how clever. flies can walk upside down? Yeah, good way of using, like, small quick time videos. It's a clever way of doing it. Um, no, I've not considered how flies get up to mischief. What else we got? Can you guess how many eyes a caterpillar has on its head? The hell is this from? Or do they do, like, just shoehorn in, like, a Why BBC do Nature documentary or something? Smell so sweet? Oh, probably because the, the, you know, insects are attracted by the pollen. Um, but we meant this to find all these. This fairy clock has a clever way for dispersing its seeds. The seeds are so light that, with one puff of wind, they fly away and start to grow elsewhere. Yeah, and end up in my bloody garden where I have to extricate them. Always a fun thing. Um, yeah, what else? Yes. What else can? Yeah, tell me, tell me about the magic looking glass badger. Yes. Have a look around until you find something. The button on top of your looking glass will show you how many things there are to learn about it. So click again to find out more, or move on and find something yes. different. Okay. While you're okay. exploring. A light will come on that makes a sound. When this happens, click, and you'll move along to the darker, more wooded areas of the countryside. Or go back to the open fields and pastures to find more amazing plants and insects. Just click, and off you go. Oh, when you've okay. done, go back to where the dragonfly's resting. Click on him, and you'll find yourself on a new adventure with Mole. Oh, okay. So we can go to, like, a forest somewhere? Mother. Flies have horrible eating habits. Look at this <laughs> one on a lump of sugar. It spits down a long tube... Oh, you can just keep clicking and get more videos. Okay. ...to soften the food and suck it up. Mm -hmm. Once it's finished eating its first meal, it swiftly moves to another which could be anything from animal droppings to human food. So, watch out. <laughs> watch out for them flies. Okay, so we just keep... Okay, so we don't have the fly hot spot anymore. I guess we just keep clicking this until we fairy clock learn everything we need to know. way for dispersing its seeds. Now, we the saw seeds that one. are so light that with one puff of wind, they fly away and start to grow elsewhere. Okay. This fairy clock has a clever way for dispersing its seeds. Oh, we just saw the that seeds one, buddy. are so light that with one puff of wind, they fly away and start to grow elsewhere. You're certainly full of wind, old man. 
Oh, okay. We can scroll across and look at the dark woods. Why That's don't woodpeckers hurt their heads when they peck at trees? Because they wear helmets? I don't because know. Because they have very hard skulls which protect their heads when bashing them against a tree. Ah, that's fair enough. Okay. Yeah, we learn about woodpeckers. Why do you think evergreen trees are so important in the woodland? <laughs> Unlike deciduous trees... Is this, is, is is this guy doing the, like the Jonathan Frakes line of questioning, like from Beyond Belief? So have you ever ridden your name in wet cement? For many animals <clears throat> during the harsh weather. Have you ever played a guitar in the rain? <laughs> um, These okay. ants may be tiny creatures, ants, sure. but they make a strong team. Look at them attack this grasshopper. Oh, yeah, just look at them slaughter a grasshopper, sure. Um, oh, Did hedgehog, you know though. that there are more than 16,000 brown and yellow spikes all over a hedgehog's body? Yeah. Whenever a hedgehog is afraid, it curls up into a tight ball to make its spikes stand up on end. Hmm. No wonder they hardly have any enemies. Who'd want to eat a mouthful of prickles? <laughs> okay. So we can go back yeah. and then we... Yeah, we click oh, on this thing and move on. His magic glade. I'll bet there are any number of creatures and plants tucked away around here for you to spot. Right. That's a, that's kind of clever as well. We mentioned that with animals of Farthing Wood, they reuse the um, like the animated parts from the show to actually like um, yeah, just to chuck them in here, save a bit of money. Um, one. Oh, be quick! Click on its match sitting near you, and watch out for the next one. Oh, okay, um, and then. <laughs> Is this all we're meant to be doing? Just match the things? Ah, oh, okay, we can get a new set. <laughs> yep, hedgehog, mouse, and fly. Jesus, that's a big fly though. Uh, mouse, fly. Oh, I couldn't tell if that was the hedgehog or not. Uh, that's that You're a hedgehog. Wonder. You're doing hmm. well, but watch out, those weasels have got their greedy eyes on Toad Hall. Ah, uh, typical. There's Ratty, drifting along in his boat, dreaming of faraway lands and... Oh, so we adventures. get the option to change over again. Well done. <laughs> Look at Molka, though. You're smart and don't miss a trick. <laughs> oh, you've got those weasels really worried now. Okay, well, we'll have a <laughs> go out for Rat and see what he's up to. What a dreamer he is. So catch him awake and see if you can find a magic-looking glass. Oh, okay, it's just the same format again. Well, there's a magic looking glass. You'll be enchanted by the spirit of nature. There are so many different things to find the more you explore. If this is your first time here, find me and I'll explain how the magic looking glass works. Yeah, no, we worked out last time, Badger. We're good. We're good for now. Um, hang on, where is their magic looking glass? Did we not get that? Do I have to find it again? Oh, there it is. Okay, we had to wait for the pigeon, I suppose. Um, How can you tell the difference between a coot and a moorhen? <laughs> I don't really care, to Here, be honest. on the riverbank is a flower that goes... Okay, now then... Himalayan balsam it. has exploding seed cases oh. so that when they burst open, seeds <coughs> jump far away. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Can we go to, like, other areas, though? Can you find the vampire of insects? Yeah, it's a, it's a mozzie, mate. We get plenty of those in Australia. Was that a kingfisher? Hey, did you see that flash of electric blue? Yeah, we actually do get this um, kingfishers is a in Australia. kingfisher whose bright colours warn others that its flesh is foul to taste. Ah, that's why they're coloured like that. Okay. That's kind of cool. Hey, did you see that flash of electric blue? Yeah, they're blue? surprisingly big birds as well, because they go after, like, fish and shit. Um, probably roughly about the same size as a kookaburra. This is a grass snake, which likes to swim in the river and makes its nests near the dark, damp riverbanks. 
Hmm. Okay. A snake. Um, now let's move on. Let's let's see what, what else we can find. Ratty's dreams, or wake Ratty up by clicking outside the bubble. Oh. Okay. I'm playing. My rat's just awake, apparently. Oh no, he's just gonna have a dream. You see the brightest star in the sky. Show your dragonfly where it is. Click on it and look for the next one. Oh, hey. okay. <laughs> look who it is. A face is emerging. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, do like a little connect the dots puzzle. Looks like we're making badger from this. Maybe mole. Yeah. Um. Okay. Give them the bright spots. Oh yeah, go inside. Yeah. Uh, where's the next one? There's the next one. Beautiful. And yeah, oh, got so many stars to click on. Excellent. Yeah. Mad badger. Why? Why are you dreaming of badger rat? That's. It's a little weird. Anyway. Oh yeah, go wait for the pigeon. Okay. Yeah. What's yeah, what's what's Rat up to? Can we just talk to Rat? <sighs> uh, okay. Yeah, it said we could do something with Rat while he was awake. I guess not. What on earth is going on? Ah, the weasels have got Portly. You and Ratty must get him back. Yeah. Okay. How do we do that? Oh, we get to ride in the boat. Even though Rat is so wise in the ways of the river, he needs your help as dawn is on its way. Choose the island that you can see ahead of you. Let's hope Portly's there, somewhere. Ah, okay, I'm finding Portly. Portly. Remember, time is Ooh, passing on and Portly's still not found. Oh, we gotta save Portly. I never did. <laughs> yeah, Portly wasn't in books, but I guess we gotta save him. Um. Oh, mischief's afoot. Those meddlesome creatures have entangled your boat's rope, and now the cowards are hiding in the tree stumps. Okay, what do we... Get out of this, you fool! Get out! Oh. Um. Yeah. Clicking on the stumps. Oh, is it like whack-a-mole? Are we whack -a weasels? That's oh, we have a slingshot. Okay. Can you see their mischievous eyes glinting? Move your catapult to collect the jam tart. Press down, hold, and then let go. Oh, Make okay. sure you aim at the hollow where their eyes appear. The jam tart will fire from the catapult. You can make the jam tarts go further by holding down for longer. Oh, okay. Um. Ah, uh, hang on. I can't. Oh, I have to. Oh, I have to physically pick up a jam tart. Okay. Ah, yeah, right eye. Yeah. Oh god, inaccurate little jam tarts. <laughs> I guess they're not really ballistically viable. Hey, we got one though. Okay. Uh <laughs> the noise is like just like me after a bit of curry. Ah oh, god, dude, good thing we got jam tarts to spare. Okay. Um Ah, oh, I have to hold on for longer. Ah, oh, too long. Ah, oh, no, this one's actually tricky. Alright, at least, um... Yeah, we got him. Alright. Yeah, you just have to hold down for the right amount and then, like, adjust your aim. Oh, nearly got him, though. Hang on. No, 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 get the, get the thing. Yeah, got him. Alright. Oh, shit. No, he's over on the other one. Okay, hang on. And then this one. Yeah. Hooray. We haven't found Portly yet, though. Doesn't seem like we can go... Oh, no, we're getting new Water scenes, Portland. at least. So beautiful and yet so strange. Yeah, this is, this is kind of reminding me of... Um, Muppet yeah, Treasure then Island, then really for, to a degree. Like, yeah, interesting mix of, like... <laughs> Traveling in mini games. Who's this strange creature? The ducks like? will help you to play Pan's tune. So watch oh. and listen carefully. All right, there. Remember uh, fuck me sideways and whip after I miss the British kids show. I haven't. Now, I is what I can't do. That is all. Yeah. In the same order. We're getting and a little bit of um. Yeah, you at least came in at the arse end. On both Wind of the Willows. Yeah, ah. yeah, it's like usual shit, mate. You'll be able to watch it back on YouTube. 
Uh, oh dear. Oh. Oh, I was meant to do the whole pattern. Um. Oh dear. Hang on, when does it start again? Okay. Wonderful. Got it. <laughs> quack, quack. Wonderful. <laughs> honk, honk. I like that we're yeah. It seems like we're prodding the ducks. My young friend. Hey, we found Portly. Cool. All right. Maybe this is like a saving day. Yeah, I, I forgot what the deal was with the pigeon. But yes, we've well, sufficiently poked enough Keep ducks. Well, I must take a chance, I suppose. Oh. Well, I must take a chance, I suppose. <laughs> I kind of want to go back to Rat because he's got a gun now. We're getting. Well, oh, maybe this done. is what it's indicating because we've done all the mini games. It's showing us these guys are ready oh, to take on weasels the really weasels at Toad now. Hall. Okay. All right. We'll go see what Toad's up to. Look at the mess he's created this time. <laughs> yeah, that was a running tidy thing. Tidy yeah, Toad's just like praying to fuck down the cars. <laughs> But hell yeah. Always need more Rick Mail. Love that boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what are we finding thing? Pick oh, up one of the bits that Toad's thrown from the rubbish pile, and you'll see which of his latest fads it comes from. For the yeah. horse you'll need to find a bridle and a tail and then something else. Can you guess what? Hang oh we to have it. to uh. then see if you can find where to pin it. Pin it uh. just so and it should stay there. Manage another couple like that, and then just see what happens. Yeah, all right, I'm intrigued. So let's grab a horseshoe. Oh, that's that's a horse. Oh, we have to, hang on, do we put the, maybe we got to put the shoes on for him. Hang on. There we go. And, yep, yeah, bridle. Oh, bridle doesn't fit there. We, we, we <laughs> can't fit it on his head. Um, no, where's... Is it, oh, oh, it's blinders. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to figure out what was going on there. I imagine he's got a... No, this would probably be a blanket. Oh, no, that's his white... That was his tail. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, it was kind of good. Yeah, because I loved Drick Mel growing up with, like, the young ones, and then... I didn't get him to bottom until a couple of years ago, but um, the other show I liked him in was ah um, oh, the dude. Oh, I forgot the name of the show. Um, I'm just gonna hang on, on, fool. Come on. Yeah, hang on, mate. Hang on. I gotta. I gotta look something up. I just. I, I can't remember the last show you were in before you died. Uh, Rick Mail. Young ones. No, that was his early stuff. Um, Come on, you fool. Come on. Uh, yep, Drop Dead Fred, Richie Rich, uh, Man Down, that was the one. So it was the one with, um, I, I forgot the other guy's name, Greg Davies, the, the on, super tall um, teacher. And Rick Mel played his dad, because they look very similar. Alright, give me, oh, we could put it on the motor car. Oh, this yeah. one's easy, yeah, I know how the car works. I have Aid Neil's autograph. Oh, that's cool, mate. That's a nice little touch. Yeah, I do like uh, uh, do like the rest of it. Haven't seen um, old uh, Neil in much for a while. The last thing I saw him in was like Old Father, I think, the, the other Discord thing. Yeah, Nigel Planner. Yeah, yeah. No, I liked Nigel Planner because he grew up. Uh, growing up, he did the. Um, Audiobooks for Discworld. Yeah, I think they did rope him into the second of game, in if memory serves me right. Help him to escape by no, no, weirdest thing, yeah, seeing Adrian Edmondson game. in Star Wars. He's like one of the main First Order officers in, um, in the latest, see, the uh, latest trilogy. That matches the one you can see in the window. Pick it up and drag it to the padlock. You'll need to find three to unlock the main gate. But watch yeah. out. The policeman will make you start again, and the barge woman will take your last key back. Oh, here's... okay. So... 
Ah, uh, okay, we're finding the appropriate key for the lock. Is that what's going on? Ah! Oh, he's locked up the key for us. Uh, okay. We are jinxed! Yeah. <laughs> like Aid more than Rick? I I have a much bigger appreciation for Rick Mail now since he's passed on. Because, yeah, he just... Um... Because, yeah, that was, that was the weirdest thing. Apparently he was, like, um, considered to be really good-looking, but he did, like, all the we are goofy jinxed. faces ah! and stuff like that. Ah! The hell? <laughs> we are jinxed! Oh, wow, that's, this is this is starting to creep me out. But, um, yeah, yeah, just... Do, do, do have a fondness for all of them. Yeah, like, Young Ones was a pretty big part of my childhood, that's for sure. Are we meant to be matching these, or... Can, sorry, okay? can I get a... Yeah, give me a rundown again, Badger. Everything all right? <laughs> I love you. You're just pulling his head out so you can Click on one of the doors to make it open. When you find a key that matches the key in the window, click on it with your dragonfly uh... and drag it over the padlock, then let go. Yeah, yeah. Keep yep, on looking okay. for keys that match. But be careful, for if you find a barge right, woman, right. she'll take away a key. Even worse, if you find a policeman, then you'll have to start again. Yeah, there we go. Now we have to find one with a loop on it. Do these change, though? Ah, uh, okay, okay. So it changes. Yeah, yeah, we lose a key if we get caught by the policeman. So we have to use our memory. Um, Scoundrel! We are jinxed! Uh, yeah, you're not wrong there, man. Hang on, okay. So there was one. There was a... Uh, no, there was the one with the cross on it. I'll piss off you. Okay, now this one's a little tricky. Um, and there was another one here. Yeah. And we just need one more. And I think there was a wash woman there. There we go. That's the one. Got it. Oh, okay. Okay. So I guess the feature film covered the actual book as well. Because, yeah, we I found out. Yeah, they... Um, yeah, Toad goes to jail for, like, oh, unfairly for 19 years for stealing a car. Trouble yet. And he, um... You see that door? Yeah, escapes by disguising I himself as a washerwoman. Walkways and bobbies towards the door and freedom. Guide Toad to the prison door by clicking and dragging to make him jump. Don't let those bobbies catch him. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, this looks a bit tricky. Um... Click and drag to jump, it said. Is that what was going on? Um. Oh, okay, okay. What, what, where are you meant? Uh, okay, hang on. Um, yeah, not sure how this one's working. You can make him jump. Oh, okay. No, I get it. I get it. We're using the dragonfly as like a springboard, maybe? Is that what's going on? Um, so hang on, maybe put him there. No, it does seem like I need to put him on the dragonfly. Okay, hang on. We need it. We're going to need um, Badger for this Everything one again. All right. Hang on, drag you out, mate. There you go. Make Toad jump by clicking and dragging. Don't let the bobbies catch him. Guide him around the prison wall to that door and freedom. Okay, all right. That should be all we need to know. <coughs> Click and drag to make him jump. He's struggling to jump. <coughs> um. Yeah, no, that's weird. Yeah, I can't get him to jump from this point. All I can get him to do is just go back down. I, it, it seems like I need him next to the dragonfly. Um, I mean, you sort of want to get through this. Yeah, once we do Toad stuff, we should be able to take on um, Toad Hall and do like another little mini game. Um, yeah, come on, Toad, what are you doing, mate? Yeah, I know it's hard to jump in a dress, but still. Um, oh, maybe we have to... Hang on. Clicking... I'm, I'm clicking and dragging. Yeah. 
hard as I can to save my life. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like this is the right way. Maybe I have to go up and around this way. Hang on. And he doesn't seem to want to jump from that point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure how the um, controls work on this one. Because I can either control Toad. He's jumping. And he doesn't... See, yeah, I can't seem to... Maybe I have to put the dragonfly in another spot and then I get control of Toad back. I don't know where I'll see it. Yeah, like this seems to be the safest path. Um, yeah, not not sure how this works. Can I like pick him up with the dragonfly? No. Um, yeah, I got Toad back. Can I put him like... Ah, uh, bugger. Yeah, I'm not sure how this one's actually working. Um, can we, like... Yeah, maybe go back to the signpost and try something else. Be on your guard. Tokor is in danger. Well done. You've proved you're smart and don't miss a trick. <laughs> oh, you've got those weasels really worried now. Okay, so we got him. I bet Toad's got plenty more tricks up his sleeve. Knowing Toad isn't he a cheeky fella? Yeah, let's let's try um, Portly the Otter. See what he's got to say. Oh, he's he's finding. Oh my dear little. Boy. Oh, okay. No, no. Portly's like lets us do the um the other games again. Okay, that was his it's whole up deal. To you and your dragon. Okay, well, so we don't do now. that again. Keep up the pace. So do we have to finish? Like Toad stuff before we can take on Toad Hall? That seems to be the case, doesn't it? What's up? Um, yeah. <laughs> need to meet Ratty, Moly, and Toad, and to play all their games. Only then can you join in with helping to drive the weasels out of Toad Hall. Well done. You've proved you're smart and don't miss a trick. <laughs> oh, you've got those weasels really worried now. Hmm. Okay. Um... Yeah, yeah, not sure. That's the difficulty. Just have a look at the art gallery, I suppose. Shout, hooray! Boop, boop. <laughs> oh, the, you know, this is the cacophonous. Okay. So it's just all animated stills young portly's missing oh ratty and moly go searching for him and the strangest thing happens oh we get some clips from the actual movie okay i'm sure this will get me content i did but that's okay not really making money Hello, off youtube friend. anyway had a nice day phew hasn't it been hot mm. Been on the river with some pals. And some photos of some of the autographs I have. You may be into it. Yeah, cool, mate. That sounds good. Something's the matter. Oh, you've sent Aren't them now. It? Yeah, I just see. I see. I've got notifications and Discord. He's worrying about Toad. He's wondering how he'll stick. Yeah. I'll have a look prison. after the stream. Let's get this done. <laughs> Never mind Toad. He always falls on his feet. <laughs> Ratty, how could you? Save your concern for the otters. Young Portly's been missing for several days. He's strayed before, but never for so long. And the river's swollen. And the lad's no great swimmer yet. The weir, suppose. Quite. His father's frantic. He's going to keep watch all night by the ford. It's where he caught his first fish, you see. <clears throat> so Toad was safe for the moment. But what of little Portly? Missed, looked for, not yet found, and leaving no clues to help the searchers. Ah, oh, Ratty. Dear old Ratty, who was so wise in the ways of the river. Was following an instinct of his own. I was own. about to cough. With my Something that wasn't like here. Him. Some spirit bore him on, haunting, awesome. There we go. And once he heard its voice, he had no option but to follow. Sometimes the beauty of it hurt him. Yeah, the and actual anime girl, series looks pretty good though. now and then stronger, which was nowhere and yet everywhere. Yeah, like this was literally the only version I could find out of everything else. Else a thin, clear, happy call. That he had once heard at its loudest and strongest, at the place of what he called his song dream, a holy place, where, if anywhere at all, that spirit might be found. Ratty, 
Are you afraid of him? Yeah, it seems like they've added extra stuff in comparison to the actual book, too. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Protected by the forest spirits, I guess. Some great creature has been here. Here he is, Ratty. <laughs> oh, now we must get you back to your father, young Portly. Have Sir Clive Come some along, Rat. Over. I've got a picture of Think it on of my poor phone. Otter oh, yeah. waiting by the ford. Uh, no, you scoundrel! Where did you get to? Do you know I've yeah, had I'm no sleep but to, two um, nights because of you? Two is coming to Supernova this year, and I might be able to get some more autographs and show them off on, on stream because I've got a little bit of, col of a collection myself too. Um, so how do we get out of here? I oh, don't. No, Toad's just just going to shuffle this video clip off. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll have one more crack trying to get um, Toad's thing working. Just to say, yes, we've sort of completed this game, but it has been a blast so far. <laughs> well, it has been really well put together. Oh, by the look of it, there's a whole host of trouble yet. Can you see that door? You'll have to guide Toad through the labyrinth of walkways and bobbies, towards the door, and freedom. Guide Toad to the prison door by clicking and dragging to make him jump. Don't let those bobbies catch him. Okay, um, so we're still doing the same. I, I'm trying to work here. The, the perspective makes it look like this is a wall of some sort. Um, okay, so click and drag to make him jump, though. That seems to be like the only place he could jump, wasn't it? Um, oh no, I can let go of. Hang on. Yeah, no, it's weird. Like, I can't, um,. I, it, it seems like I need to have the dragon fly next to him. Or well, there's like a... Yeah, I can't... Yeah, that seems to be the only spot I can actually put the thing. Uh, to also have autographs, two voice actors in one of my favourite games, Sleeping Dogs. Yes, Sleeping Dogs is actually a really good game. Um, so I'm presuming, like, if it's UK actors, you've got... What, Tom Wilkinson and... I don't know, don't know who else was British in, um, in Sleeping Dogs, besides him. Um. But yeah, I'll actually have to dig out, because I've got a few, like, in storage that I have to dig out. I was going to make, like, a, like, a wall in, like, my little man cave garage, but I got sidetracked. But yeah, we'll have a look at those at some point, I imagine. Um, no, I just cannot get Toad to move for the life of me. He goes here. And this is probably not the... Unless he can jump further up this way. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I have to find the right place to put the dragonflies, the springboard. I got the main guy and the mother of Wilson. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't mind um, William Lee. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember they, um, he was in the start of uh, one of the James Bond movies. The one with... Um, uh, yeah, No Die Another Day. The one with like, Madonna and Halle Berry and stuff. Okay, so I've got him... Oh, I had him up here. I nearly got him up to here and now he just doesn't want to go up there. Just... Can you, can you get up there, Toad? No, that's the, uh, that's disappointing. I just can't get him from this point. I might have to watch. Yeah, fiddle with it or something. But no, we might, um, as much as I would have liked to have seen the rest of it, I, I think we might have to leave that one there. But geez, You're that was a good time. Progress, my young friend. But now, on. yeah, I'm going to have a fun afternoon after this because I'm going to be editing and I'm going to be watching, like, all these shows back. But, uh, yeah, if you are curious, well, at, like, done. I did try and, yeah, Wind in the Willows, Paddington Bear, or oh, the World of Beatrix Potter, they're all on archive.org if you look hard enough. But, um, yeah, it just, it has been a very fun, soulful little stream. I have been, I have really enjoyed that, and I really appreciate the wind in the willows. everyone who's come along. And, oh, we're just getting credits, okay. 
Rick Mayo. All right, now let's let's leave that one. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death Death Sandals.